So you pay attention to what you heard in this room, and it totally changed your, like, I want to do that. I want to I wanna be, did they call it a session man back then? Yeah. I, I, was, I was just blown away by the skill level yes. and the fact that they just heard the song. And, of course, the technology, we had no technology. They were recording direct to mono, direct to two-track. Wow. That was the record. Not even multi-track. No, 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 Bam. no, 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 no. That was the record. And, you know, I, I did an interview with somebody from BBC a, a few months ago, and we're talking about, they were talking about, they were, they had seen the uh, documentary on the Wrecking Crew. Yes. And then there's a, you know, there's the Muscle show. I said, okay, look, I said, this is what makes Nashville so special. You had the Wrecking Crew. All their arrangements were written. Mm. You had Muscle Shoals, Memphis Boys, Stax, uh, Motown. Yeah. They had no clock. Here, we were expected to do three or four songs every three hours that oh, we never heard before, never and that was the record. Well, I, I said, never thought of I think it's very special. I never thought of that, Charlie. Yes, sir. And the skill level of uh -huh. those guys, you know, it's just, and they did it with such ease. Yes. And when I, I was just awed by it because what an education, you know, you couldn't buy that education. Oh my gosh. And watch these guys, they did it so easy, you know. And of course, this core group had worked together so much, they kind of right. read each other's minds a little right. bit, you know. You Chemistry know, I, was incredible. Right. And I learned number one, check your ego at the door, mm -hmm. don't need it, you know. Mm -hmm. Number two, the artist, and the song is the picture. We're the frame. Hmm. Our job's to frame the picture, not to distract from it. Hmm. You know, whatever it takes. Hmm. The great Floyd Kramer on the record by Jimmy Dean called "Big Bad John," which is oh, a wow. huge hit record. Love that record. At the end of this room, he stood with a hammer and hit on a metal coat rack to kind of come up with the right. sound of someone driving spikes or something. Man. And it was that's the way that was everyone's attitude. Whatever right. it takes. Whatever it takes to make the I record a hit, that. that's what we do, you know. Yes, and that, that's, and I, I bought into that in a hurry, you know, because that was it was so special. It's funny you mention that. I was just uh, I did a show down at the or out at the Opryland Hotel just yesterday, and there was a guy whose father had been in the music business. Started out with Atlantic and then went to MCA, and he had lived in New York, L.A., and Nashville. And this is years ago, and he said. My pick, my recommendation to you of a town to live in that's the best place to raise your family, the best town for humility yeah. and ego, it, keep yeah. in check, was, was Nashville. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And, you know, most of, most of the artists that came here, I mean, most of the artists were really, really, really nice. You know, everybody got along so wow. well. And the vocal groups, you know, uh, Jordan Ayers, Anita Kerr singers, I mean, everyone got along, and it was uh, hmm. that's what made it all work, you know, because when you think about it, that's a lot of pressure. Oh, Here's gosh. music you've never heard before. Make yeah. me a record now. Yeah. Now. That we want to enter into the race, into the game of competing that's to right. be a hit on the radio that's played over the whole nation, that's over right. the whole world. And, you know, one thing a lot of people don't understand yeah, is that some pressure, we in this business, we're trying to sell a product that people don't need. Uh, people need to buy groceries. They need to pay uh -huh. their rent, but they don't need to buy right. a record or a CD. Wow. Now, they do. It's a, it's a luxury, and, and we, we, we're happy they do, but, you know, it's something they can do without. So that's the kind of business we're in. And you earn that by getting to their heart, there right? That's and right. So it's just, it's an interesting business, isn't it, that it's, it's art and business yeah. all at the same time. Yeah.